We're in West Texas. We grow pickles here for best made products. We've grown pickles here for 40 years. I'm kind of part of the Dalton family. I've worked with them for three generations now. Um, we're the last company, I think, in the U.S. that at this size still maintains control of everything from top to bottom. We'll grow up to 71 fields in one year. That's a lot of production. That's a lot of fields to be looking at every day. It depends on the time of the year, um, what varieties we'll plant. It's just a regular cucumber. There's nothing that's really been altered on it, and they're non-GMO. Planting is, uh, is just basically putting the seed in the correct soil depth. We also sand fight our own fields, keep the sand from uh, blowing on the plants to keep the plants healthy. We'll cultivate, and then after cultivation, we're normally watching for any other weeds to emerge for hoeing, or we'll have our own crews going and clean up the fields. Bees are important here in West Texas because there's not a lot of natural insects. Technically, a bee is supposed to visit the, the female flower four times before it's properly pollinated. We know that the presence of bees helps our yields. We have a lot of things that have to happen every day. Today, we were planting in one field. We're irrigating other fields, putting bees on other fields, cultivating, hoeing, and harvesting. So we're doing every process every day. We need to get a handle on when it's going to harvest because we're going to try and use up the available moisture that's in the soil so we can have optimal harvest. You cannot harvest when it's muddy. There's a, uh, a blade that runs in front of the machine and cuts so we're able to grab the entire vine with the fruit still attached. The hugger chain will actually grab the plant and the fruit and draw it into the machine where there's a set of pinch rollers that separates the fruit and the fruit will drop down and they go on the cross conveyor and then go up the side elevator and then finally into the basket. As we're harvesting, the trucks will get loaded and the trucks all come to the pickle shed. When they first show up, we'll wash them out of the trucks where they'll get flumed out. Um, we use a little bit of chlorinated water to sanitize everything. And then we use people to actually grade out broken and defect pickles. All the product that we're going to harvest today, it will be run today at the pickle shed and all of it will go to Best Made. It'll be there by 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. We started out with this deal years ago with just a few hundred acres and now we're planning about 3,500 acres. Over the years we've kind of perfected the uh, the process of harvesting and grading and shipping so that everything arrives on time and we give them the, the freshest, best product we can.